Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to talk about SPM Mathematics 2021, question number 9 to 12. Question number 9A. Please pause the video and read the question. Moss has a monthly income of 3,200 ringgit Malaysia and monthly expenses of 1,950 ringgit Malaysia. His balance income after deducting the monthly expenses 3,200 minus 1,950 is equal to 1,250 ringgit Malaysia. The motorcycle he plans to buy costs 14,400 ringgit Malaysia in cash pay by installment within a year. 14,400 divided by 12 is equal to 1,200. Compared to his balance income 1,250, Moss was able to achieve his financial goals because his remaining salary exceeded the saving required for him to buy the motorcycle. Question number 9b. Please pause the video and read the question. Joseph received a monthly income of 4,000 ringgit Malaysia. He has a fixed and variable expenses of 3,200 ringgit Malaysia. Therefore, his balance income is 4,000 minus 3,200 is equal to 800. Calculate his income earned from the part-time job in that month. If Joseph has a positive cash flow of 1,850 ringgit Malaysia in that month, his income earned from the part-time job can be calculated by 1,850 minus his balance income 800, that is 1,050 ringgit Malaysia. Joseph earned 1,050 ringgit Malaysia from the part-time job in that month. Question number 10. Please pause the video and read the question. Table 3 shows the frequency distributions of marks of a group of students with a given mean mark of 55.6. Find the value of M. Create a table for easy calculation. First, determine the midpoint of the each class interval. Put the midpoint as X value. Find the average of the two numbers 40 and 44. Add up the numbers 40 and 44, then divide it by 2. The answer is 42. 45 plus 49 divided by 2 is equal to 47. Then, follow the pattern. We can see the next midpoint is going to be 52, 57, 62, and 67. Next, we are going to multiply the frequency by the midpoint. This is going to be f times x. Fx. 3 times 42 is 126. 6 times 47 is 282. M times 52 is 52M. 16 times 57 is 912. 10 times 62 is 620. And 4 times 67 is equal to 268. After compute all the values, find the sum of frequency. 3 plus 6 plus m plus 16 plus 10 plus 4 equals 39 plus m. Find the sum of fx 126 plus 282 plus 52m plus 912 plus 620 plus 268 equals 2208 plus 52m. The formula for means equals sum of fx divided by sum of f. Substitute the value obtained into the formula. 55.6 equals 2208 plus 52m divided by 39 plus m. Transpose 39 plus m to the left hand side and multiply with 55.6. The calculate result is 11. m equals 11. Replace M with 11 and 52 times 11 equals 572. The sum of frequency is 50 and the sum of Fx is 2780. Question number 10 B. Hence, calculate the variance of the distributions. Add two more columns to its right side of the table. List down the values of x squared in the new column. 
42 square 1764 47 square 2209 52 square 2704 57 square 3249 62 square 3844 and 67 square 4489 the last column, we are going to multiply the frequency by the x square, that is fx square. 3 times 1764, 5292. 6 times 2209, 13254. 11 times 2704, 29744. 16 times 3249, 51,984 10 times 3,844 38,440 and 4 times 4,489 17,956 Find the sum of fx squared 5,292 plus 13,254 plus 29,744 plus 51,984 plus 38,440 plus 17,956 equals 156,670. With all the summations values, calculate the variance of the distributions with the formula. Substitute the summations values into the formula. Sigma square equals 156,670 divided by 50 minus 2,780 divided by 50 in a bracket square. The variance of the distribution is 42.04. Question number 11. Diagram 5 shows a few polygons drawn on a Cartesian plan. Questions A. List two pairs of polygons which are congruent. Two triangles are said to be congruent if pairs of their corresponding sides and their corresponding angles are equal. They are of the same shape and size. From the diagrams, triangle D, E, F is congruent to the triangle D, G, F. Triangle D, A, B is congruent to the triangle D, C, B. Question number 11b. In the answered space, draw the image of the triangle CDG under a clockwise rotation of 90 degree about the center D. For this question, a triangle ruler and a compass are needed. Draw a perpendicular line to DG at the center of rotation by using a triangle ruler and fix the needle of compass at the point D as the center of the circle. Rotate the ends with the pencil from the point G under a clockwise rotation. Follow the path of the hands of a clock. The intersection point of the two lines is the image of point G. Same as point C. Draw a perpendicular line to DC at the center of rotation by using a triangle ruler and fix the needle of a compass at point D as the center of the circle. Rotate the end with the pencil from the point C under a clockwise rotation. Follow the path of the hands of a clock. The intersection point of the two lines is the image of point C. Then, the image of triangle CDG is drawn. Question C. Triangle BCJ is the image of triangle EFJ under the combined transformation PQ. Describe in full the transformation question number 1 Q. Transformations can be combined by doing one transformation and then another. The combined transformation in the diagram is a reflection and followed by an enlargement. Triangle GFJ is the image of triangle EFJ under a reflection on the line x equals to 3. Reflection is when we flip a figure over a line. So, we describe that Q is a reflection on the line x equals 3. Question number 2. P. Transformation of P is an enlargement. Triangle BCJ is the image of triangle FGJ. J is the center of enlargements and 
A is a scale factor where the length of side of image over length of side of object. Let's count the length side of image, JC. 6 units for JC and count the length of corresponding side of object, JG. 3 units for JG. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. The scale factors of 2 means the triangle BCJ obtains is twice of the shape of the triangle FGJ. Then, P is an enlargement at point J with a scale of 2. Question number 12. You are not allowed to use the graph paper to answer this question. Thin solid lines for construction lines must be shown. Diagram 6 shows the composites of two right prisms with the rectangular bases A, B, C, D, and B, C, R, and P, Q on a horizontal plan. A semi-cylinder is taken out from one of the prisms. A, F, G, K, L, P, Q, B is the uniform cross-sections of the object. Ages A, F, D, E, E, H, F, G, J, M, K, L, Q, B, N, R, N, R equals to 1 cm. Ages B, K, C, J, H, J, N, G, K, R equals to 5 cm. The diameter of the semi-cylinder is 3 cm. Draw to full scale question number A. The elevations of the object on vertical plane parallel to A, B, and Q, P as viewed from X. The elevations of the object as viewed from X is a front elevation. The positions of the front elevation is at the top of the plane. The orthogonal projection shown from the front. Sketch the orthogonal projections using the measurements given. 1 cm, 3 cm, 1 cm, 2 cm, and 1 cm. The construction lines are drawn as marking point. Mark the surfaces of the shape block. Start with the vertical lines AF with the length of 1 cm, a horizontal line AB with the length of 4 cm, a vertical line BK with the length of 5 cm. A horizontal line FG with the length of 1 cm and connect the line from K to G. Then draw the horizontal lines KL and PQ with the length of 1 cm. Connect the lines from L to P and draw the semicircle with diameter of 3 cm from B to Q using a compass. Now label the vertices with letters. From the fronts of the shapes, start with A and B, A, B, F and E, F, E, G and H, G, H, K and J, K, J, L and M, L, M, P and N, P, N, Q and R, Q, R, B and C, B, C. The elevations of the object as view from X is drawn. Questions B. The elevations of the object on vertical plane parallel to LM as view from Y. The elevations of the object as view from Y is a side elevation. The side elevation is drawn on the left side or the right side of the front elevations depending on the viewing directions. The orthogonal projection shown from the side. There are two digit lines for hidden sides, GH and the line above of the semicircle. GH lies 1 cm away from the line BC and the line above of the semicircle is 1.5 cm above the line BC. Draw the construction lines as marking point. Start with the horizontal line BC with the length of 3 cm. A vertical line CJ with the length of 5 cm. Form a rectangle in shape. Then, draw the two digit lines 1 cm above the line BC and 1.5 cm above the line BC. Label the vertices with letters. From the side of the shape, 
PQBNA PQBA NRCND NRCD GNF GF HNE HE LNK LK MNJ MJ The elevations of the objects as viewed from Y is drawn. I want to thank you for going through this lesson with me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!